Da na na na, da na na na, da na na na. Edgar TV. Well, hey there, guys, and welcome back to Edgar TV. And today, what we're going to look at is the PDC tour card. Now, I mention all the time, and I'm going to mention it again. If you've got any questions or something you'd like to know, even if it sounds really simple. Let me know in the comment section, you might be surprised by the answers. Now, one of the things that's coming up quite a lot is what does the PDC tour card look like? So rather than me answering that in the comment section, I thought I'd make a video to show you because it's hard to describe really, isn't it? So I'll show you my personal PDC tour card, which, ah, where did, ah, it's in the bag. There isn't one. In terms of a PDC tour card, there is no physical form that is a PDC tour card. The PDC tour card is a virtual, mythical thing that basically allows you to enter PDC tournaments via the portal, which is where we put our registration and entries in. So everyone's got these things. They want to go to Q school. They want to do this. They want to do that. They want to come out of Q school, get a tour card is the idea. So at the end of it, when you've won the tournament and you've got your PDC tour card, what happens then? Well, you go to control desk and they'll give you an information pack. The information pack will have everything in that you need to know as a professional player. So the PDPA, who they are, how to contact them, who to contact, how to enter events, when you should arrive, uh, your DRA rule book so that you're not breaking the, the rules and getting the fines, um, how to deal with tax and who to contact about that, travel, all the different things that you need to know as a professional dart player, they'll give you in like a little welcome pack. So you've got a good week's worth of reading or so to get through there. Um, you also get your details for your tour card induction. So they have like a meeting at the start of the season where you're welcoming all the tour card holds and go through all the information pack and everything. So all of that basically is uh, presented to you, all the information that you need. But in terms of physical tour card, like... Uh, either a plaque or a thing, you don't get that. Now, in 2011, when they first started tour cards, they used to give you a belt buckle, which was like a PDPA logo, the, PDP, the PDC, PDPA logo, and your name. Now, personally, I'd like to see something like that reintroduced. I'd like to see something like a belt buckle or a pin badge or something that will say... I was a PDC tour card holder for this season or that season. And then you could keep these and it'd be something nice to look back on, something nice to keep. A lot of people, this is the very, very pinnacle of their darts career being a PDC tour card holder. So it'd be something nice to be uh, somewhat commemorative, you know, something to keep with that. Um, would you do the same? What do you think, guys? Would you let me know in the comments section? Do you think there should be some form of physical um, tour card or some form of physical like reward or memorabilia for this i don't think maybe like a card like some people have said do you get like a like a business card or like a um like a photo id card i don't think that's the way to go but i think maybe like a pin badge i think it'd be nice let me know in the comment section guys what you think and if you've got any questions of your own let me know in the comment section i might be answering your questions on a future episode of edgar tv if you're new around here hit the subscribe button we'll see you soon for some more daily darts uploads TV. I said if you are new here guys hit the subscribe button or find me on any of the social medias on your screen right now.